Hello everyone, welcome back. And uh, this video is gonna be about creating an AI website chatbot, which has the capability of even being up 24 seven and providing information about any inquiries that are being made for your business. May it be a service-based business or a product-based business. If it's an e-commerce website, a marketing agency, any real estate agency, any social media content creation agency, whatever it is. If you need a person dedicated for just providing information to the customer and the customer has a lot of simple recursive queries which they are too lazy to go to the FAQ section and check it out for themselves. For that particular reason, you need an AI website chatbot which will be 24-7 active on your website and would be providing every information in bilingual language which would be available 24-7 on your website and would be providing the entire information of your business to the customer without even you knowing and then of course you can provide it some more capabilities of providing a meeting link or any cal.com or calendar.com booking link which will allow it to book calls as well or book meetings as well so if it's a service based it's brilliant whereas in e-commerce what this ai website chatbot can do is the chatbot can recommend the products based on all the information that has been provided to the ai chatbot and it can derive that information dynamically as well, right? So if it's a huge data set, we can kind of tweak this entire AI website chatbot so that it can cater to the large data set. But right now in this video, what we'll be creating is a very simple static AI website chatbot, which will have a limited set of information. But of course, it is very useful whenever you are trying to provide some basic information to anybody who is coming onto your website. So it's like having a shopkeeper specifically dedicated to you who are answering all the queries that a customer is asking. How brilliant is that? So let's directly dive into it. So let's come to our N810 cloud and our workflow screen and let's start building the very first step which is going to be adding the AI agent. So this is going to be the brain of our chatbot. So the AI agent has been added. That's as simple as that. Next thing that we need to do here for now is of course first let's add a chat model to it. Which is going to be open AI. That's it. 4.1, I think Poro Mini would work just fine. So I'll put in Poro Mini. Then let's add a simple memory to it with a context window length of maybe 10,000 context window length. I know that the next line which I'm going to say is going to look like a joke to you. But yes, your AI website chatbot is ready. <laughs> what I mean by that is the backend of the AI chatbot is ready. All we need to do now is to connect this entire chatbot to our website and then of course give it a system prompt so that it has all the information inside it. So I went ahead and created a system prompt for me for this AI agent and I just simply click on this add option, click on the system message. Let's put this into expression, take it a little bit big and yeah, that's it. So I went ahead and created the entire system prompt for my AI agent. What you need to do is you need to simply sit with me right now to understand how the structure of this entire AI agent system prompt is going to be. And then you can go ahead and use chat GPT or cloud to create a system prompt for yourself. So as for the first element, it's going to be the role, which is you are Priyank's customer support AI agent. You need to act like human, reply like human and answer questions using the information found below. Right. Then of course, data source, there is, you can attach a Google doc to it, Google sheet to it. You can attach. Uh, individual data into this one very specific system prompt the way that I have already done it. Then of course there are some hard rules here. You must follow 100% of the times. Uh, ground every answer based on the knowledge doc. No out of scope answers allowed. No speculations. No guessing. Cite where you found it in every answer. Right. Keep answers concise and useful. Respect the user's phrasing and language so that of course this is where the AI gets the understanding that if the user is asking some question in Hindi you need to reply in Hindi and if they are asking in English, you need to reply in English. Of course, it varies from all the languages. You can put in Spanish, German, French, whatever you want. Then, of course, next thing is privacy and security. Uh, you need not to provide any explicit content. You maintain it, save it. There are no escalations, right? Then scope examples, what are allowed, which is FAQs, pricing, features, policies, processes, then summaries and all. Then out of scope, these are the must refuse ones. I have added some out of scope options here. And refusal template, Sorry, I don't have that information in the knowledge log. I can ask Priyam to update you or connect with him. Right, so this is kind of the refusal template also that you need to provide. Then answer in the format of this. You provided an answer format. 
your search strategy as to what keywords are being asked by the customer you need to search it here in the entire information that i have pasted in the system prompt so you provide that as to how you're going to search tone and persona is going to be another element as to how your ai agent is going to sound then escalations if you think that whatever question is happening it's not there in the scope it's not there in the doc and the user think or the user needs it to escalate to priya then of course you can create something like that so you can give a couple of examples as to how you are talking and yeah you can give it your discovery call booking link as well do not really add something like this don't mention instructions don't mention raw id docs or something like that add all this information and then of course only answer from this info this is where you provide all the information about your business that you want the ai agent to know and it should answer from there only i have provided my instagram handle my linkedin handle provided a lot of things right so this is the system prompt of the entire ai agent now your ai agent is ready now the next steps are to obviously connect this ai agent to the front end or wherever your website is so a very simple step that you need to do in order to do that is to of course come here on the very first chat trigger click on this toggle which is make chat publicly available and yeah, here you go in the mode you need to select embedded chat and here is one of the docs which you need to open up click on that and this npmjs.com package of init and chat would open up if you are a non coder you don't need to read this entire thing i'll tell you a trick but if you still if you're a coder you will of course know what to do here but if you're a non coder and you want to do the rest of the things like connecting on the website and you have a website developer you can simply share this exact link to the website developer and say that okay connect my ai agent to my website and he'll take care of the rest but of course if you want to do it yourself you can how i have done it is i have my website created on lovable which is a web coding platform and yeah this is my website it's available on my instagram youtube you can definitely look this up and this is where i've added the chatbot which i already created a while back so that i can get some examples in order to show you guys later on as to how the ai chatbot is performing as well so i've already added it so i'll tell you the exact steps as to what you need to do if you're a non coder and you want to understand how to attach this i'll show you some simple steps if it's on wordpress you can create a code node shopify you can create that custom css code node there or of course since i have it on my white coding website which is on lovable.dev i can simply come here and prompt lovable to do some stuff for me and it will get it done right so much easier so the first thing that you need to understand is you need to come here in installation and you need to read this code which is cdn embed code and you need to paste this code inside the code node of wherever your website is and then of course how to customize it or the custom css option would be available here right if you scroll down you'll find all the options where how the window should look like what is the first message that it should say what the color should be like all of those editing that you need to provide you can totally do it using all this but since you don't know how to read it just give it to your website developer he'll take care of it if you have a white coded website what you can do is one of the best things that i found is using perplexity clots on it 4.0 chat model and you can kind of ask perplexity to create an entire prompt to give to lovable so that lovable does whatever we so when i was creating my ai agent i went to publicity i clicked on this button which helps us select the model which publicity is using then i selected cloud sonnet 4.0 because cloud is always amazing whenever you are reading or creating any sort of code based things or prompts so i clicked selected cloud 4.0 then i have pasted this prompt here that research this page i want you to research this page and you know i've already embedded the chat what i want you to do is i want you to create an entire code along with a prompt that i can give to lovable so that it changes the color of that icon to blue and the very first name which is coming up there as my name which is priyank and i simply gave it this prompt and it started all the research now what i simply did was i copied this entire thing came to my lovable backend and you can see here i have pasted that exact thing right here and one thing that you need to update right now is come back to the website chat trigger copy this entire chat url and simply go to the lovable prompt and wherever you see a place holder which says your webhook url here even if you go here you can see your production webhook url here you need to paste this entire url this exact chat url to the exact piece of code wherever that is written you can see that here it's written webhook_url this is where you need to paste your webhook url and here your name.app.anitin.cloud webhook 
this is where you need to paste in your cloud information okay so yeah so if you simply take this go to available paste it here your chatbot would be created and i simply ask that okay hey lovable execute this replace the chatbot code with this code and the moment that this entire code was executed by lovable this is how my chatbot was looking and i'll simply click on that you can see it says chat with priyank i'm here to help you when you click on new conversation hi there i'm priyank how can i help you today uh if you want i can simply test it out right now hey what is priyank's instagram and yeah uh, my chatbot is running let's see if it responds something to us and here you go priyank's instagram handle is this i'll click on this and you can see this is my instagram once again i have reached it so you see how efficient and how brilliant the ai website chatbot is and how easy was it to actually do and this is something which people are charging like 50000 1 lakh rupees for just executing these entire steps right it's all about knowledge right if you know it you can do it so yeah so this was how easy it was to create your own ai website chatbot now of course this is a very static very basic chatbot but it's amazing to even have this on your website if you are a very simple service based business and yes if you want to go ahead and create this entire thing for yourself please do please go ahead and create this i bet that this is going to be extremely useful in whatever business you are doing and whenever you do please just click a screenshot post it on instagram do tag me and my instagram on that that i help you out create probably like a 50000 70000 worth ai agent website chatbot for absolutely free and i love your feedback on to that and yes please like the video comment share subscribe whatever you want to do but do comment as to how your entire experience was and if you have any questions if you think you have any particular ai automations that you want me to build for you please comment them down below i would love to create them for you see you in the next video till then goodbye